Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Valagar Alavane. Alright, so for this quest, it brings us back to Three Barreled Cove. Uh, we will be doing one of the Garl's Tombs quests. Okay. So for this one, as we haven't yet done it, of course, we can't teleport. But if you remember from some of the other videos here that we've done in Three Barreled Cove, <coughs> Or if you're just doing it like I normally do it when I'm not uh, worrying about levels. Um, so the first quest here is Legend of Two Toed Tobias. It's just located under the ch uh, ship. From here, generally, I end up well doing the rare, which I will check here. Um, as I do like to get that uh, rune arm whenever possible. Mostly because it is, again, one of the very few rune arms that are tradable. So I can help out some of the guild mates and other friends that have been looking for that low level rune arm there. From here we just want to continue following the water to the northeast. Which will bring us right up to Garl's tomb. A cave extends deep into the rock behind the go. Troglodytes get and step on in. Alright, so as you can see, great experience here from Garl's tomb. Um, 3 BC is just an absolute treasure trove of experience. Alright, so when we first enter few ooze, nothing special. Alright, and then, ooh, we got a reaper. And then it just has a few, ooh, <laughs> a few troglodytes at the end of the hall, and apparently a reaper that teleports to you. Um, but yeah, Reapers, they're random spawning, as I'm sure you've all noticed by now. If you've watched the videos and you've done the quest yourself, they don't all spawn in at the same location. Rather, they can spawn in at any place any enemy can spawn. Alright. Alright. So, our objective in this one is to break these eggs. Now, I'm not too sure why it only says we broke one, though. I was pretty sure there's more than one in this pool. Well, I guess we'll find out at the end. Alright. So, in this room, as you can see, we have six sleeping gargoyles. Um, they don't actually activate until you loot the chest. So you can walk up to it, you can do all that, nothing. Um, once you do open the chest, they do get up, start attacking, as well as it slams a door shut here. So you can't progress until you ki finish killing them all. Um, there is a somewhat safe spot here. You can actually hop up here, and then up to here, if you have the jump. Um, I do say somewhat safe as you do need to be standing right at the edge to, in order to shoot them because they will walk up to you and by walking so close to the edge they are actually able to climb up here and melee you. So the spots for the eggs, um, it starts up right where our lost soul is here, then it comes down to here, and has a few more. Um, it'll also have a whole bunch of troglodytes here, right next to the levers. Um, and they won't actually spawn in until you come down here. So this is whereabouts they'll spawn in. And again, they have a few of them, 
and they don't spawn until you get down. Uh, then we just need to pull two levers to open our door. And see the deeper in. Now, right up here again, they have some breakables. As well, they also have some ooze dropping in from the ceiling. Uh, four ooze in, to be specific there. Uh, as well, they had the the caster there. Now, from here to our right or east, it has a locked door to some shrines. Now, once you unlock it and open the door, it doesn't close back on you. So, it is handy to open that up. From here, um, we need to progress further west. Um, it has two staircases leading up in the center here. Um, it does have some more breakable eggs. Make sure you grab them. Directly, let's see if I can see it here by panning the camera. Directly to the right here, or and left, on the ledges here, we will have these troglodyte shaman. Now, they like to cast hold person, or hold monster, or whatever. They like to cast the hold. So, just be wary. Um, they can be really, really annoying and tend to kill you out right out of the gate. As it, especially if you are a melee character, you're actually going to have to walk all the way up and around. <clears throat> so the next bit, as you can see, comes when you approach the stairs. It spawns in a few just normal troglodytes as well as a couple of casters as well and if you are interested there is a collectible underneath the staircase once that's done um, all that's left is to either kill those two shaman on the corner or to go pull the levers where the shaman were uh, once we pull those levers it will open up this door and there are enemies on the other side of the door so I like to cast a turret or if you have a party you can just leave, has sent one person to go pull while the other people do that now rather than you can either send one person on each side to pull or if you only sending one person or doing it solo rather than running all the way back and around if you hug the wall you can actually run across this little top piece there saving yourself a little bit of time alright All right, so this part here just a lot of troglodytes nothing special um, behind us here we have a door to the shrine. Now, I do want to point out, um, not this part of the quest. So, we have a second quest that brings us back into Garl's tomb. Um, in that one, we're fighting a whole bunch of skeletons. Same quest layout. In the one where you're fighting skeletons, these sarcophagus on the side, when we approach this corridor, uh, the quest will cause that manually breaking sarcophagus. When that happens, it doesn't, again, give you credit for actually breaking them. So you will employ the staying way back here and shooting them. So I do want to point that out. It's a good habit, especially if you're like myself and forget which part you're on. Um, and sometimes don't put the correlation of sarcophagus skeleton together. I know, my brain sometimes. But if you're not sure... It's just a good habit to get into to never just rush down this hall and to rather shoot them as you're progressing. That way you can get the ransack bonus um, because actually without breaking all these, you won't get that bonus there. Alright. So from here we're going to proceed a little bit deeper in. Now to the left and right of us, or north and south, we do have a troglodyte sitting way up high on top of a perch. 
Um, of course, we're going to take them out. Now, what a lot of people do at this point is they actually just hop down. Um, they don't bother coming all the way through here. As the levers that we need to pull to progress, as well as even the eggs that we need to break, are just in this giant room here. Um, however, I am going to show you in here. So we did have a small troop of troglodytes, as well as a couple more on each of these platforms. And that's that. On the epic version of this quest, they actually do have traps here at the bottom. So if you're doing this on epic, just be careful. Alright, let's grab these break pulls. And yeah, so what most people do is right from the bridge, they'll hop down and land on these platforms and just pull the lever right away. Alright, so once we've pulled them both, again, most people just hop down. Um, however, if you proceed to the other side here, um, again, they do have a staircase leading down. And finally, to the bottom here. They also have a few more eggs for us to break. A huge They also have, uh, in a few spots, as like you see those mushrooms growing up there, and even up there. So you can actually hop down from the very, very top bridge, and kind of glide down to grab those mushrooms, hop down to grab those. But they also do have others spread out. Alright, again, once we reach the center here, it will spawn in a few ooze. Once again, just four ooze. We have another shrine here. And this here should be the last of our breakables. And then finally we have our end room right over there. Now I am seeing six eggs left. I'm hoping, if I remember correct, that there is six eggs here in the end. And it does look like six. So we didn't miss any, which is definitely a good thing. Um, I know I've run this a few times and forgotten an egg here or there. Alright. So inside... Um, right on that central platform there were two casters and then as you see a few melee and then on the side platforms which they never walk across because they are stuck in the middle of the water again a few casters from here all that's left is to break the eggs and that's that it's fairly simple fairly straightforward quest um, grab your loot. You can either choose to click the uh, rope here to exit or hit to finish. And that is Troglodytes Get. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys later. Have a good one all.